better be Gryffindor! Ugh. Azkaban. Azkaban's not a house. Nope. But it's definitely where you should live. Now someone get me off this head. I don't want to be touching her. She's nasty. Something you would like to say, dear? Oh, there are several things I would like to say. Were you dropped on your head as a baby, Dolores? Did your parents not love you? I beg your pardon? Beg all you want, you haggard goblin. I'm just getting started. If you were my baby, I'd have left you on a doorstep. No offence, Potter. I didn't want to leave you there. Oh, thanks, Professor. That's really nice. Listen here, you pompous pink-clad porcupine. Stop trying to bang the minister. He doesn't want you. You make him heave. Lies! All lies! He told me he'd rather have a romantic night in with Voldemort, and he's a homicidal maniac with no nose. <gasps> and it's not a wonder to look at you pink every day. What are you, ten? Ah, someone call Madame Pomfrey, because Dolores got burned. Thank you, Minerva. Take Sybil inside. Thank you, Headmaster. Anything you'd like to say? Skank. What's that noise? Sounds a bit like Dumbledore. Oh my god! Lads! It's happening! What's happening? Minnie and Umbridge, round two! Fight! It's a real fight! Come on! The tea is scalding! Oh, here we go. Minerva, I think you're just a massive... Are you gonna call me a pussy because I'm a cat? Imaginative. Now listen here, you little hobbit. I will backhand you down these stairs. Woo! You don't turn up at my school and start cutting my children. Sorry, who school? I will shove those quills where the sun don't shine. Fred. George. Harry. I have spoken to Cornelius and again with the fudge thirst. It's embarrassing. You are a spiteful slug and nobody wants to spend any time in your vicinity secreting your evil all over our castle. No wonder Filch follows you around with a mop. I'll follow you. Oh, it's so nasty. Next time I'll have you. I'm quaking. I've got presents. It's like stealing candy from... Oh, oh, Harry, you're awake. Boy, you're a little fighter. I didn't expect you to be up for at least a couple hours. I 100% wasn't coming here to eat your sweets. <gasps> oh, my God. That was Ron, 100%. I saw him. What's it all for? You killed a guy, Harry, and I know I wasn't supposed to tell anyone, but... Then I accidentally told everyone. Oh, my God, you won't believe it. Harry killed a guy. <gasps> Hazard, can we talk about how you're a natural? Dust scrambled him, so there's not even a body for people to ask questions about. You little professional, can't wait for our future quests. You mean that wasn't a one-off? Oh, we're gonna have so much fun. This one was non-compulsory, though. If you'd have just stayed in bed, Quirrell wouldn't have been able to get the stone. Me and Minerva were waiting on the third floor corridor with a sack. We were gonna throw it over him and say, Not in my school! So thank you for ruining that plan for me. Anyway, killer, I've got a bounce. Glad you're cool. Okay, fine, it was me! Yeah, I figured that. Don't tell Minerva. Bleh, Ron said. Who was Ron trying to curse anyway? Malfoy. He called Hermione a... Well, I don't really know what it means. That's surprising. <sighs> he called me a... A bushy-browed, snaggletooth bookworm? No. Oh, a scruffy-looking McGonagall wannabe with a bird nest beehive. Hagrid. Bird nest? A squat, fugly munter with ugly school shoes. <laughs> a boy's worst nightmare who's never going on a second date? What? No! Oh! Did he point out the irony that both your parents are dentists and your teeth are still messed up? Hagrid! He called me a mudblood! Oh! Well, it's obvious now you've said it. Could be worse, though, Miney. He could have told you what your hair looks like from the back. What do you mean? Girl, it's an absolute disaster. It looks worse than mine. <laughs> Don't you cry, Hermione. Malfoy's not worth it. Hurry, it's Hermione. I can move my arms and legs again. Petrified, were you? I know how that feels. So next year, can I help in choosing the defence against the... Oh, <gasps> shut up. Look, Hermione's back. Oh, I can barely see. Oh, that's better. Harry. We really missed you, Hermione. Oh, my God, I'm going to cry. They're so cute. Oh, it is great, sweet. Oh, my God, she's letting go. She's... Oh, oh. Yes, you are going down. We're going to go down, down, down. Double or nothing. 80 galleons. You know nothing about human beings. I'll take that bit. What do you mean? I know about these things. If she doesn't want to hug him now while he's a satsuma, she's not going to want to hug him when he's a pumpkin. Anyway, everyone sit down. I have an announcement. I'm about to come into some money and I'm pretty happy about it. So exams have been cancelled. What? A's for Gryffindors, C's for Slytherins. What about the rest? The rest of what? The other two houses. 
Who? So the winner of the House Cup is... Slytherin. No, Minerva, I'm just not feeling it. Doesn't matter what you feel, we won. The winner is... Slytherin. No! I've got some last minute house points. Elbus, that's cheating. To give to Gryffindor. Oh, never mind, carry on. To my little Satsuma, Ronald Weasley. <laughs> You trounced Minerva at her favourite game. She literally cried. He's 12 and I was trying really hard. 50 points. Next, Hermione Granger for taking such good care of my main man, Hazard. From what I've heard, you two get on in perfect harmony. What do you think he means? I don't know. I'm sure we'll find out. 50 points. Now to the boy of the hour, Hazardron the Hazanator, the little murderer who makes grown men crumble. Harry Potter gets 60 points. How's the maths looking on that? Doing more points. My little man, Nev. Ten points to our lad, Nev, because his gran is a hobgoblin. Ooh, I've won both cups. <laughs> ha! Right, Tom. That is one big 13-year-old. Hagrid, a girl is dead. I have to turn you in. It weren't Aragog. It wouldn't hurt a fly. Well, he would hurt a fly, actually. That was a bad choice of words. Step aside, Hagrid. No, Tom. He's a good boy. Hagrid, you're my best friend in the entire world. I love you. See? You leave me no choice. Oh my god, no! Hagrid, you see this guy? He just blew up my house. Ugh. No one appreciates me. I'm going to go to the forest, build myself a big house. And Tony Hagrid is welcome. Ooh! You are going to regret this day, I swear to God. Aragog, no! I am definitely leaving this place a bad review on TripAdvisor. Your monster killed someone, Hagrid. You'll be expelled for this. Unless we meet Dumbledore on the way, then you'll just get detention. Hagrid! Wait, why am I moving? Hagrid! Ah! Whoa, what happened? Hello? Ha oh, hi. Oh, excuse me. Hello? Are you deaf? Super job, guys. If you could just carry that discreetly through the middle of the school, that would be great. Thanks. That's unfortunate. Oh, hey, conundrum. What are you doing down there? It's riddle, sir. Of course it is, puzzle. Up you come. I should have expected this typical Slytherin behaviour. If you'd have just been patient, you'd have seen the body when I sent it through all the common rooms. I had to see for myself if the rumours were true. I have no idea who started those rumours, but they're so true. And the school? Will it close? Probably. I'm an orphan. I've got nowhere to... It's all me, me, me with you, isn't it, Tom? There's loads of orphans, but there's only one Dumbledore. I'm gonna lose my job. And if the person behind these attacks was caught... <gasps> Do you know something? Oh my god, you do tell me what you know. I promise I won't tell anyone. Nothing, sir. Go to bed, you little snake. And 50 points from Slytherin for teasing me like that. Everything just froze suddenly. Are we in Scotland already? Ron, we left London 20 minutes ago. I've got a bad feeling about this. I'm quietly optimistic. It could be Santa. Um, excuse me. Hey. Anyone in there? Wanna kiss me? What the hell is that? Hey, you ginger stud muffin, do you wanna kiss? Um, no, but thanks for asking. You're a sexy senorita, do you wanna kiss me? I have a cold sore. Ew. Get back, you demon of hell! Shut up, you furry pig. What about you, nice t-shirt specs with that scar super sexy wanna kiss? I am so confused. <gasps> you do wanna kiss me. <gasps> Oh, you're such a good kisser. Thanks. I practice on my hand. Whoa there. Don't get in the way of our love. He's underage. Bye-bye. Uh, well, she was nightmare fuel. My first kiss. Wands at the ready. Neville. We all want to see Professor Snape in drag. Do it. I'm too sexy for my shirt. So sexy it hurts. Ridiculous! Whoa! Oh my god, what the hell? Ha! Run! Alright. Hey, Mr. Gingerbread Man, you wanna tap dance? Oh. Ridiculous! Ah, no, slip and slide, I don't like it. Oh, I love this place. Pavarti! <coughs> In what world is that less scary? What a freak. Harry! Please don't be Uncle Vernon in a towel. Oh, hey there, Scarhead. Do you want to kiss me? Thank God. Ha! That's one of my lines. The Scarhead bit. Obviously not the kissing part. Sure. Shut up, Parkinson. No one likes you. Hey, Hagrid! What's happening? they coming to do my nails? Hagrid, does he know? Oi, I just couldn't tell him. Well, what does he think that guy with the massive axe is coming down here for? Told him they were coming to cut his talons. Cornelius, I can't lie to you. I'm not a big fan of your new secretary. 
Dolores, yeah, she can be difficult. Difficult? A Rubik's Cube is difficult. She gives me Satan vibes, Fudge. Just be careful. Remember who your real friends are. Right, all of you better be off. Sorry about your hippogriff, Hagrid. Yeah, sorry, Hagrid. Squeak, squeak, I'm a rat. Go on. <gasps> this is totally barbaric. Yeah, I feel really dreadful. Do I blend in with this pumpkin? Go, 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 go. Hey, you guys going already? You didn't even stroke me. <gasps> oh, no. He's lifting up the axe. Ow. <laughs> Harry, what the hell are you doing? What? Get in there. <sighs> Headmaster, they've got the wrong man. Please believe us. It was Scabbers that done it. Sorry, did Cheeto Boy just say his rat did it? Yeah. He's not a rat. Well, he is a rat. It was my brother Percy. Balls of you now. Thank you. Actually makes sense. Rats are really clever. Now, here's the plan. Harry, Hermione, you're going to take the TARDIS. Oh, Headmaster, could you... Sirius Black's at the top of a tower and he's really not guarded well at all, so you can just smash in there. Oh! This is some Cinderella business, though, because you've got to be back before the chime. Bloody hell, get off my leg, please. Listen, Weasley, stop getting in the way of the relationship. You're going to lose me money. And I love money. We've got the plan. What is going on? Don't forget the chicken pony. And Hermione, when you're done with your mission, you've got to give that time turner back to Minerva. She won't come on nights out with us without it because she gets bad hangovers and she needs it for the morning, so give it back. Okay, one last look at you two. Oh, so cute. It's time travel, Harry. Oh, can we save my parents? No. Is that really what my hair looks like from the back? Did you just nearly blow our cover because of your hair? It was so bad, Harry. Peaky, Peaky, we've got to go. Oh, I can't go right now. I've got an appointment. Shh, Beaky, it's not a real appointment. We've got to go. They're going to kill you. What kind of joke is this? It's not a joke, Buckbeak. We've got to go. Go, 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 go. Ow. <clears throat> Come on, Buckbeak. What part of appointment? Don't you understand? I just want to be pampered. What's wrong with you? I don't want toenails like Voldemort. You ain't seen those yet. You're lucky. Come on, Buckbeak. Get the nice dead ferret. <gasps> Draco Malfoy. Dumbledore. Oh my god, where's the chicken pony gone? Cornelius, did you steal the chicken pony? Well, no. Oh great, neither did we. It's gone four o'clock, shall we get on the sesh? Oh, you want to see my mini bar? Yes! His shot glasses are massive. No, please have a word to family. Uh. Go, 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 go. Julia told you you'd be the first to dance. No. Yeah, did just then. Weasley, what on earth are you wearing? Ah, oh, Professor, you couldn't transfigure it a bit for me, could you? If I'm honest, I think someone might have piked the sponge in the staff room. So really, no, it wouldn't be a good idea. Is Lavender Brown doing the WAP dance? Did you not hear my speech about Gryffindor, for God's sake? <laughs> well, that was... Keep it together, Harry, keep it together. Okay, he's not that fit. It's just a dance. It doesn't mean that much. Oh my god, look how fit he is! We're getting married. Elbers, I think somebody spiked the- Every day I'm shuffling. You've got to hold me up, Minerva. I'm smashed. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Show these kids how it's done. It was you, wasn't it? I can't feel my nose. I'm like Voldemort. <laughs> Bonjour, mademoiselle. Hello. Boy may not speak French, but I think you're bon appetit. Ugh. So you want to see my hurt? Minerva, Minerva, Minerva. What? I've got a secret I need to tell you. Or do you want to go somewhere private? I miss Harry's tragic dancing. Not a chance. Anyway, big news. I think Moody's an alcoholic. Oh, poor Alistair. What makes you say that? So the other evening, I went up to his office to ask where he got his leg from. His leg? He was having an evening drink. Your evening drinks sometimes start at two o'clock. The story's not about me. So I noticed the hair in his drink and I pointed it out to him and he still drunk it anyway. What a desperate minger. I love alcohol and even I'd fish it out. How did you see a hair through the hip flask? That's the other thing. He was drinking it out of a mug. Who's a mug? You are. <laughs> Only joking. We were just talking about a bit of a sensitive subject. It's probably best I don't tell anyone else. Okay, no worries. Moody's an alcoholic and I think he stole his leg. Elbers, he's looking. Oh my God, embarrassing. Play it cool, Minerva. Play it cool. He's probably looking at us out the side of his head right now. Oh my God, I'm so scared. Shh. Another student nearly killed Albus. We need to... Oh, shut up. Lavender's here. Oh my god. Who's that next to your boyfriend's bed? <gasps> oh, tell her how you feel. You bucktooth homewrecker, what are you doing here? Yes, my friend's been poisoned, you daft dimbo. Friends? You barely know him. Whose name's written in his underwear? His own. Lucky guess. I'm his widow. Me. He's not dead. Didn't Lavender used to be black? 
Yeah, Minerva, but you can't just ask people why they're white. Carry on, Michael Jackson. <gasps> you hear that? My presence revived him. What did he say? <laughs> Hermione, what a snack. <gasps> Not a snack. A whole damn meal. And I'm hungry. Oh my god. Oh, this has gone better than I could have dreamed. The level of disrespect. He said I'm a snack. Now, Cedric, if you wanted to take me on a date, you could have just asked. So it was you that started that rumour, Potter. I wouldn't say I started a rumour, you know, I just asked a few people their opinions. I hate to burst your bubble, Potter, but this is a porky. Don't think either of us are responsible. So this is Tom Riddle's grave. So who could possibly be behind... Squeak, squeak, I'm a rat. Cedric, my darling, we have to leave. Oh, oh, oh. What an ugly baby. I kill Harry Potter. You're not coming anywhere near Harry. I got you. <sighs> I've had a cadaver. No! Joke's on you. I don't die, I sparkle. No! Hedrick had so much potential. Oh, is that the ship name? I prefer pottery, personally. Yeah, 100. Because I miss him! Wait, why am I turning into Dumbledore? No, Harry, you love Hermione, not Cedric! Get off him, for God's sake! You're in public! It's nasty! He's dead! He's what? Dead! Voldemort's back! He asked me to bring his body back! I couldn't leave him! There, there, Harry. But I really think if you just give Hermione a chance... Now's not the time, Dumbledore! A boy has been killed. I said someone was going to die, didn't I, Severus? Yeah, in that other parody. Oh, don't worry, Harry, don't worry. Look, I'm stroking you. Your hair's really soft. That's my son! That's my boy! How is everyone else so chill? I'm literally freaking out right now. Ah! Amos, I know this looks bad. It looks bad, but I'll do you a deal. You can pick any kid, any kid from the stands as a replacement. Hermione's grades are quite good. You're coming with me, Potter. Get your hands off him, you leg stealing alky! Professor, I don't want to freak you out, but I think you're having a stroke. <coughs> your face has gone proper wonky. How are your arms? <coughs> Just let me call Madame Pomfrey. Expelliarmus! <coughs> Moody! I was willing to overlook you stealing the leg, but stealing Harry Potter, not on my watch. Aw, thanks. You're an alcoholic, Moody! You can't be drinking from that hip flask as much as you do. It's made you crazy. Even if you didn't steal the leg, you're so drunk you can't even remember where you got it from when I asked you. Oh, what's wrong with him? There's something in his trunk. Not my problem, Sev. Moody's so drunk his face is melting. No, Elvis, the trunk is talking. Oh, would you look at that? It's me, Alistair. Aha, uh -huh. polyjuice potion. Hmm, that doesn't mean he's not drinking other things as well. I know I'm right about this. Who are you then? Sir, that's the doctor. Doctor who? I've got nobody all on my own. God, he's weird. Are you sure you're related? He's so scrawny. Ah, oh, no. That's just because we didn't feed him. All right, Big D. Nice vest. Thanks. I'm being sarcastic. You look like a turkey in tinfoil. Stop beating up kids. Very brave all of a sudden. You weren't last night, in your sleep. What was that? Crying in your sleep. Don't kill Cedric! <gasps> Don't kill him! He's got so much to live for, he's handsome and charismatic. It's so true! Who's Cedric then? Your boyfriend. That is it, I'm done! Are you alright? No, I'm not! Don't you ever say his name again! You're not worthy, I'll kill you! Oh my god, was he really your boyfriend? Well, no! If I'd have known he was actually your boyfriend, I wouldn't have joked about it. You're gonna be sorry. I'm already sorry, please don't stab me. 